Okay, my name's Lauren Rodham, and I did my project on the the effects of eutrophication um, on the marine life. Eutrophication, um, basically, what eutrophication is is it's um, an increase of nutrients such as like phosphorus and nitrogen, um, and in the water and in the air, and it increases the algal blooms on the top of the water. And what happens is these algal blooms have a really short life cycle and eventually they're gonna sink to the bottom and use up all of the dissolved oxygen in the water and there's not gonna be, it's gonna create a hypoxic environment, which means the marine life aren't gonna be able to survive in it. And it really affects the plant life too because they're not getting enough of what they need. Um, there's only one um, natural cause of eutrophication and it's from the runoff of nutrients from the soil. The rest are all man-made problems from inorganic fertilizer to farms and people just being really dumb, really. And, and all, all of these problems are from phosphates and nitrates. My question was, what will happen to the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water, um, adding different amounts of fertilizer to the water? And what I hypothesized was that the amounts of dissolved oxygen will dramatically decrease with the more fertilizer that was in the water. Uh, the materials I used, I used seven quart-sized mason jars and gauze to cover the top of the jars and rubber bands and plant, just regular plant fertilizer and the YSI. The YSI measures things like the pH, salinity, and just dissolved oxygen and stuff like that. I only used it for dissolved oxygen. Um, I just I filled them all with 100 milliliters of just regular seawater from the Gulf, and then I added different amounts of fertilizer to each one. So jar number one didn't have any. It was my control. It was the one that stayed constant throughout, the one that I uh, compared all the other measurements to. Um, so like jar number two had 25 milliliters of fertilizer. Jar number three had 50, on and on. Um, and then I covered each jar with the galls and the rubber band, and just let it sit for a couple of days, and then. Um, I started a trial where every every day for five days I measured the amount of dissolved oxygen in each of the jars with the YSI. The data, it looks really complicated, but really all you need to see is that there's like a dramatic decrease, not only with the amount of fertilizer that I added, but as with the days that it sat in the jars, it just continued to decrease with the days and amounts of fertilizer. So it was measured in uh, milligrams per liters of dissolved oxygen, and then it was just a really big decrease. My conclusion was that adding all these nutrients are, I mean, it definitely supported my hypothesis that the amount of dissolved oxygen is going to decrease dramatically with the amount of fertilizer, adding phosphorus and nitrogen to the water, basically. Why should we care? Because it's one of the biggest marine pollutions in the world, and it's all due to human stupidity, putting um, waste treatment sites and sewage treatment and stuff like that right on the water where it's going to flow in. Like, why would you do that? That's just stupid. But anyways, I mean, it affects fisheries, and it kills millions of fish every year, and it just continues to increase over the years. Um, I want to thank my advisor, Jenny Cook, who gave me very constructive criticism throughout my project. And Jonathan, who helped me with my overall project of what I needed to do, even when he didn't want to. And Marty always answered my questions. He was always available to answer them. Um, Jennifer and Danny were always available to take me where I needed to go throughout the day. That's it. Are there any questions? I left it in the form that it was in and I just let it sit in the bottom. I didn't stir it. I just stuck the YSI in the jar with the fertilizer and just measured it just like it was. I didn't change anything about it. Greg. Did you notice Yeah, the jar number two and three, which had 25 milliliters and 50 milliliters, dropped the quickest. And after that, it was just a very 
steady decrease, but the jars, jar number two and three with the 25 and 50 decreased drastically. I mean, I went from having um, five milligrams per liters of dissolved oxygen in my control to 0.93 milligrams per liter, so it, it dropped drastically. Is that it? Okay, thank you.